family of heroic Marine gives up the fight for a Medal of Honor. After years of fighting for a Medal of Honor nomination, the family of heroic Marine Sergeant Rafael Peralta has given up and instead accepted a Navy Cross on his behalf. Peralta died in Iraq after absorbing the blow of a grenade that would likely have killed members of his team. But former Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel rejected the Medal of Honor bid because the details of Peralta's death are still under dispute. On the morning of November 15, 2004, Sergeant Peralta's team was carrying out a house-to-house -house fighting mission. The Marines threw open a door in one of the houses to find three armed insurgents inside. The team exchanged fire with the men and a bullet struck Peralta, severely injuring him. Then a grenade landed next to the sergeant. Initial reports claimed he smothered the grenade to shield his men from the blow. Some people say that's not true, that he was already unconscious when the grenade landed next to him. No matter what, Peralta's body did absorb the blow of the grenade, which normally has a five meter killing radius. But one Marine said the men were pressured to exaggerate the account because Peralta actually died from one of their own bullets. The Marines family and other witnesses dispute those claims. On Monday morning, the sergeant's mother accepted the Navy Cross for Peralta, who, as a Mexican immigrant, enlisted in the military the same day he received his green card. The Navy also named a USS destroyer after the fallen hero. Leave an insightful comment on Tomonews.net and you could win up to $500 every month.